This country was uninhabited until the 15th century when Portuguese sailors found it. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring São Tomé and Príncipe, an island nation in the Gulf of Guinea off the Central African coast. Stay to uncover the treasures that make São Tomé and Príncipe a truly exceptional destination and uncover its geography, history and culture. São Tomé and Príncipe is a nation located in the Gulf of Guinea off the western equatorial coast of Central Africa. It consists of two archipelagos with a total land area of just 386 square miles, making it Africa's second smallest country. Despite its small size, São Tomé and Príncipe has a diverse geography shaped by volcanic forces and a tropical climate. The islands of São Tomé and Príncipe are volcanic in origin, with rugged interiors dominated by mountains, crater lakes and rainforests. São Tomé, the larger island, reaches 7,963 feet at its highest point, Pico de São Tomé. Overall, the terrain is marked by steep, rocky cliffs along the coastline and densely forested, mountainous interiors. The Pico Cão Grande is an iconic landmark, a tall volcanic spire jutting straight out of the ocean along São Tomé's southern coast. It has a tropical climate all year round. Located just north of the equator, the islands experience consistently warm and humid weather with heavy rainfall. The relatively consistent climate allows for abundant rainforest vegetation to thrive across the mountainous islands. São Tomé and Príncipe can be divided into several distinct geographical regions. The northern part of São Tomé is more mountainous, while the south has flatter plains used for agriculture. Príncipe is less populated and more heavily forested. Offshore islands including Ilheu das Rolas and Ilheu Bombom provide secluded getaways. São Tomé's capital, São Tomé City, is home to a quarter of the population. It is home to diverse animal life, especially bird species like the São Tomé Ibis, São Tomé Fiscal, Giant Sunbird, and São Tomé Oriole, found nowhere else in the world. The Oboe National Park protects the island's vital rainforest ecosystem and endemic species. The surrounding waters of the Gulf of Guinea also support many types of fish, whales, sea turtles and other marine life. The island nation of São Tomé and Príncipe has a population of around 200,000 people with a unique Creole culture influenced by African, Portuguese and other European influences. São Tomé and Príncipe have no indigenous population as the islands were uninhabited when the Portuguese arrived in the 15th century. Today, about 95% of the population is Creole, mixed descendants of Portuguese colonists and African slaves brought to work on sugar plantations. Angolares are descendants of Angolan slaves and form a distinct cultural group. Smaller numbers of Europeans, mostly Portuguese as well as Chinese and other immigrants, also live in the country. Portuguese is the official language and the home language of about 60% of the population. São Tomé is the native Creole language spoken on São Tomé Island. Principense is a related Creole language on Principe Island. These Portuguese-based Creole languages are used extensively in informal contexts. Christianity is the dominant religion today, with about 80 to 90 percent of Santomans identifying as Roman Catholic. This reflects the legacy of Portuguese colonization and missionary activity. Traditional African beliefs are also followed by some, often in conjunction with Christianity. The cuisine of São Tomé reflects the island's history as a Portuguese colony and its location off the west coast of Africa. It features influences from Portuguese cuisine as well as African staples and tropical ingredients. 
These are a few iconic Santomian dishes that showcase the flavors of this unique island food culture. One beloved national dish is matata, a hearty pumpkin-based soup. It combines pumpkin palm oil, onions, garlic, okra, chicken or fish, and peanut paste to create a rich, savory broth. The pumpkin provides body while the peanuts add nutty depth to this satisfying and flavorful soup. Banana bolo is a sweet banana bread from Sotome. Ripe bananas are mashed and combined with eggs, butter, sugar and flour to make a moist, quick bread. Spices like cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves add warmth. The bananas make it naturally sweet and give this simple treat a tropical twist. Barriga de Peixe translates to fish belly and refers to a way of preparing fresh fish. The fish is roasted or fried whole, so the meat near the belly is the most prized part. Red snapper and grouper are popular choices. It's simmered in a peppery onion sauce and served with staples like rice, beans and plantains. For a contemporary fusion bite, burrata crustini combines Italian, burrata cheese and Santomian breadfruit. Ripe breadfruit is sliced and griddled until crispy as a crustini or cracker. It's then topped with creamy burrata, fruity olive oil and basil for a perfect blend of textures and flavors. Our journey begins in the 1470s when Portuguese explorers first set foot on the uninhabited islands of Sao Tome and Principe. They were well situated in the Gulf of Guinea and ideal for growing sugar. São Tomé soon became an important sugar producer worked by African slaves. The Portuguese would rule the islands for over 400 years. In the mid-1500s, São Tomé transitioned from sugar to focus on cocoa and coffee grown on plantations. São Tomé and Príncipe was the world's largest cocoa producer for a time. The rise of contract indentured servants and forced labor continued well after slavery was banned. The plantation economy dominated life on the islands in the early 1900s. Contract labor and poor treatment of local workers led to unrest. Calls for political reform in São Tomé and Princip emerged, but were suppressed by the Portuguese regime. Discontent simmered under Portuguese colonial rule for decades. Change was on the horizon. By the 1950s, anti-colonial movements were active in Saint Tomé and Principe. The Committee for the Liberation of Saint Tomé and Principe was established in 1960, starting the drive for independence. After a transitional period, Saint Tomé and Principe finally gained full independence from Portugal in 1975. The newly independent nation faced significant hurdles. Political power struggles ensued in the late 1970s. São Tomé and Príncipe went through multiple coups and regime changes for decades, hampering stability and development. Poverty remained high throughout the instability. The 1990s brought efforts at economic reform and privatization. Democratic elections helped restore order. Recent times have seen fluctuating growth and hopes around potential oil reserves. Saint Tomé and Principe entered the 21st century with optimism, but still faces challenges like poverty. It all started in the 15th century when Portuguese colonizers first settled São Tomé and Príncipe and began growing sugar and other crops using slave labor. The fertile volcanic soil was ideal for large plantations. São Tomé later became a major producer of cocoa and coffee for the global market. However, the plantation economy declined after slavery was abolished in the late 19th century. In 1975, São Tomé and Príncipe gained independence from Portugal. But the economy struggled under an inefficient socialist system for over a decade. State-run plantation agriculture could not gain exports. Living standards fell as poverty rose to 90% of the population. 
Attempts at reform did not take hold. By the 1990s, São Tomé and Príncipe made efforts to turn around the failing economy. The government privatized state plantations, opened up trade, and attempted to boost tourism with beautiful beaches like Praia Inheim. Fishing agreements brought in foreign investment. However, political instability hampered growth. The 2000s saw optimism about potential offshore oil reserves being tapped to transform the nation. Exploration in the joint development zone with Nigeria raised hopes. But by 2010, it was clear that oil would not be a simple solution to development challenges. Today, the economy remains constrained by factors like poor infrastructure, limited human capital, and a business-unfriendly environment. With a GDP per capita of around $3,500, living standards are rising, but still among the lowest in the world. Son Tomé and Princip's economy faces hurdles, yet has potential if its people and resources can be harnessed. If you enjoyed this video on Sao Tome and Principe, you'll love this next one.